Well, tonight I had the most unusual of visitors. They arrived in a bright red truck with ladders on the back, hoses as well, and axes in their locker. Yes, you've guessed it. It was a fire and rescue service came to see me this evening. Well, we didn't have a fire. They just came to do a risk assessment of the house. And I noticed the fire officer, he wanted to talk a lot about a way of escape. He wanted us to know how to get out of the house in the event of a fire. I wonder if he's ever read his Bible because the Bible talks about a way of escape as well. In the book of Hebrews, it says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Let me just pause to say, first of all, did you know that there's a need to escape? Oh yes, we need to escape. Not a fire on this earth, but we need to escape the punishment for our sin. The Bible tells us that we've all sinned. The Bible tells us we've fallen short of God's glory. The Bible tells us that sin separates us from God. The Bible tells us that sin is truly breaking God's law. And I want to say that we need to escape from that. We can't turn over a new leaf and we can't just try our very best and maybe that somehow we'll manage to get away from our sins. No, we need to flee from our sins and flee to Christ for salvation. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? There's a need to escape not only from our sin, but there's a need to escape from the wrath of God because God is angry with the wicked every day and he doesn't want us to sin in his sight. He wants to save us. The Bible says he came to seek and to save that which is lost. Oh, praise God, he wants to save the worst and the, the so-called best of sinners. He wants to save all dear souls that they might come unto him. Oh, there's a need for escape, but not only from the wrath of God, not only from our sins, but also from the judgment of God because it leads to hell if we don't escape from our sins. It's serious. It's vital. We need to escape from our sins. Oh, there's a need to escape from our sins. But the Bible says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Not only is there a need to escape, but there's a neglect of escape. And sadly, many, many people neglect God's great salvation. It doesn't say reject God's salvation. It just simply says neglect. Well, to neglect something means you actually know about it and you put it to the side. You might neglect to do your homework, but you knew you had homework and you just chose not to do it. And so in the case of salvation, people neglect it. It is actually the greatest tragedy on this earth. Not malaria, not child sickness, not the AIDS epidemic, not world poverty, not earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. The greatest tragedy in this earth is that men and women neglect the salvation that God offers us. He stands there with pierced hands, hands outstretched, and he wants men and women and boys and girls to flee unto him that they might have God's so great salvation. And sadly, many people neglect God's wonderful offer for us. There is a need for escape. There's a neglect of escape. But I'm so pleased that there's no cost for escape. That cost of escaping and turning to the Lord is paid entirely by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. And when Christ came to this earth, he lived a perfect life and he went to the cross. And on that cross, he shed his precious blood that we might be saved. And the cost to us is nothing. The cost for him was everything because he gave himself for us. A need to escape, a neglect of escape, and no cost of escape because he has paid it all. But what are we going to do about it? Imagine the tragedy that if there was a fire in my house and I said, well, I'm not going to bother about it. I'm going to try and rationalise it. I'm trying to research it. No, I've just got to run from it. I've just got to make that escape and run out of the house as quickly as I possibly can if there was a fire. Well, it is the same with salvation. We have to run. We need to run to Christ. It's called so great salvation. It's not something cheap and tardy. It's something absolutely wonderful and perfect. It has come from the heart of God. It's paid by the blood of Christ. God loves us and yet he calls us to repentance that we would trust in him and have his so great salvation. Well, what are you going to do about God's way of escape? I, I would wonder if that fireman would consider me rather strange 
if I said, well, I'm not going to bother about it. I'm not going to bother about the way of escape. I'll just take my chance in life. He would say, you've lost the plot. Well, I tell you this, you've lost the plot if you neglect God's so great salvation. It's the greatest offer you could ever have. It's the greatest mercy that God has ever shown. It's the greatest love story that there has ever been. It's the greatest call that a person can ever hear. The call to repentance, to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? May you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and have his so great salvation and know that wonderful way of escape from your sin and flee into the arms of Christ this night. We just pray that you'll trust in the Lord. May God bless you this day.